Coming up right now, a new year comes with new changes at Amazon. What's driving changes going into 2024? Also coming up, a woman is banned for life on a cruise line, but does the punishment fit the crime? We will explain. And later, Snoop Dogg gets blunt when it comes to <laughs> weed. Wait till you hear what he's going to do. Yeah, it might surprise you. Daily Flash Thanksgiving edition starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Well, hi everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. I am Mitch English and welcome to a Thanksgiving Day version of Daily Flash. Yay! We're going where you go, the yeah, kitchen. So we're doing, we're gonna course. hang out here in the kitchen. Look at all this great food. I, I poured us a couple of uh, Prosecco's. I put okay. orange juice in yours, so yours is a mimosa-ish. Uh -huh. mm. Is it a good idea, like when you're making Thanksgiving to be drinking? <laughs> no, I, I, I honestly think it actually, because the stress, Yeah. Whatever makes for that Thanksgiving day to go by easier I and faster. I think it's a good thing to do. I enjoy it, but you know, you gotta have to pace yourself throughout the day. Cause day drinking is different than night drinking, <laughs> right. right? And then you got all the food yeah. that might hopefully keep it together. All so, right, we got mimosas. Yeah, I like a good Prosecco. Okay. Um, you know, you can get one for $10, $15. It's not that expensive. Grab some orange juice. You can have a plain or with juice. And then I made a coffee drink for us. These coffee drinks have an espresso liqueur in them. That pink is actually a peppermint whipped cream. Ooh, cool. Yeah, so I don't know how this will be, but I'll just freshen this up. So freshen ooh, that it's a up for me. Prettier. There nice. you go. Nice. And, um, and then I found some great, just, you know, cold brew coffee. So you put in the espresso liqueur, the cold brew coffee, and then top it with some whipped cream. And uh, it is just What's the delightful. liqueur? The, is it just, it's an espresso. It, just Italian an espresso. espresso liqueur. Very good. Now, yeah. I've heard like espresso martinis are kind of dangerous because people don't, yes. they, they, they get all energetic. Exactly. Does this kind of, this is going to get the energy kind going, of right? the same thing. But yeah. again, you pace yourself. You might start off in the morning with one of these. <laughs> And then, you know, you pace yourself. <laughs> Are you spilling? Are you spilling all over? <laughs> See, already. <laughs> That's exactly why I don't do this in the, in the kitchen. Did you, you know, guys? There's a straw involved. Huh? Oh, there's a straw involved? There's a straw involved. Well, I saw the, the, okay. the whipped cream and so. Mm. Oh, see, That's these good. go down really easy. That's peppermint whipped cream. How about that? You can buy it at the grocery store. Kind of fun. Oh, you're just going, oh, I'm not down really the hatch. Really All right, well, since we have these, I thought since, you know, it's Thanksgiving, what would the day look like if we didn't have any Thanksgiving Day stats to serve up at the yeah. dinner table, right? So our friends at Wallet Hub have put together some tasty niblets <laughs> that might surprise you. If it doesn't, well, at least you can bring it up at the table and it'll make you sound smart in front of Angina. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that. Did you know that the first thing Thanksgiving celebration was in 1621. That is, well, I knew it was in the 1600s. I didn't know the exact date on it. Uh, but I did know that President Abraham Lincoln actually is the one that proclaimed Thanksgiving as a national holiday on October 3rd, 1863. And it took until 1989 before President George H.W. Bush officially pardoned a turkey. Ah. By the way, did you know that there are two turkeys sent to the White House each year? Guess what happens to the other one? <laughs> one gets pardoned, the other becomes dinner. I yes. like that. The average number of calories, this is gonna surprise a lot of people, that most people consume today will be 32 to 4,500 calories. Uh, and not sure if this is uh, smart or sad, but 13% of Americans plan to get takeout from a restaurant <laughs> or go out to eat for Thanksgiving. Those are the people you need to invite over to yes. your table. All right. Probably because, Andrea, the average of number of guests, including household members at the dinner table, is seven. Ooh. So you're about the average around seven people. I've seen where it's much more. Yeah, and finally, here are America's favorite Thanksgiving dishes. 83% love them, the turkey. I love my turkey, sure. 78% uh, are loving the mashed potatoes. 77% prefer stuffing or dressing. 74% of them love rolls or that bread. 65% choose sweet potatoes or yams and 53% have got to have their cranberry sauce. You know what's odd? What's missing from that list is the green bean casserole. <laughs> right? Right? We, we were talking about that, how uh, 
everybody, nobody like, I like green beans. I you love did. green bean casserole. I'm one of those weird people. I'm also the candy corn guy here. You're the candy and, corn guy. Uh, but You're the one. I, I, I get more, a bigger yeah. serving all together with that. We're going to be talking to uh, Chef Yvonne. She's got some uh, great, uh, cool setups we can do for oh, she's Thanksgiving. she's got a Brussels sprouts re uh, yes. recipe, and a sweet potato recipe, and cranberry if you're like a last minute. I forgot the cranberry. And I'm one of those, tell me if y'all are, just applause. Like, I like it straight out of the can. Yeah. I, I mean, what you're... You know what's when it falls really out? good is you do a turkey, a cold turkey sandwich the next day. You toast a couple slices of bread. You put a little mayo on, mayo on then you put the cranberry, cranberry on. Sauce. Then you put some Swiss cheese and some turkey. Oh, it's the, heavenly. It, it really is. Yeah. And um, the, you have the leftover rolls. It's like the, the best leftover yeah. sandwich ever. If you're wondering, by the way, where Matt Doolittle is this morning, he's usually joining us right yeah. now. He's kind of here. Can we show everybody where Matt is? Matt's at the, uh, <laughs> at the kids' table. <laughs> Look, okay, he's apparently having a lot of fun uh, with with uh, everybody. Yeah, so yeah, he fits in perfectly. Yeah, you know, so why not, right, Aww. Matt? Uh, enjoy yourself. Make sure he gets a little extra mashed potatoes. Yeah, over we'll there. give him some extra. Let's keep these cream. away from him. Yeah. By the sure. way, everybody, don't worry. We'll share with all of y'all out yes, there. Yes, of course. If you're an Amazon fan, listen up. The giant e-tailer is getting into the car business. Amazon's actually going to start selling Hyundai's online in the United States starting next year. Now, customers will be able to choose their model on Amazon.com, plan their purchase, and schedule delivery through a local dealer. The agreement between the two companies is all part of a deal that was announced two years ago with the goal of expanding the automaker's digital showroom. Customers configure their car, add all the extras, calculate the price, locate a dealer, and then complete the sale. New agreement was also to allow anyone buying a new Hyundai in 2025 to access Amazon's Alexa voice assistant, right there from their cars. I think it's a great idea. I think, you know, with the success that we saw from, uh, oh, what's the one with the car vending machine? Uh, Carvana. Carvana, mm -hmm. where people were, there. people are okay with buying cars online. 10 years ago, oh, yeah. it blows your mind. I really see in this as a success for Hyundai and for Amazon. My question is what's next for Amazon? They've gone into healthcare, they've gone into groceries, they're selling cars. Are apartments next? I just- Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what they sell? No, they do sell uh, like uh, tiny houses. Do they really? You can buy a tiny, because we're, we're putting one back by the pool. Oh my and, gosh. And we were looking at the pricing of it, man. Yeah. They're, they're average pricey. price. But, but we have to build on site, so we're able to do that. Um, I think you're going to start seeing more and more of this. Uh, it has to go through a local car dealership. Okay, so that's, no matter yeah. what, because of state law, because when you buy a franchise from a car dealership, it, it, you are given the right to actually be able to sell. And this, if they didn't do that, they would be bypassing those local dealers. Which would altogether. be an issue. Right. All right. National Geographic has announced their photos of the year. They've chosen a number of images that feature world events, scientific breakthroughs, and some of nature's most intimate moments. The 29 photos were selected from more than 165 photographers and two submissions. All right. Check out some of the top three pictures mm -hmm. here. We want you to look at this. Let's start with the cover photo. It's called Swimming to New Lengths. The image shows a deadly Ooh. band sea crate and they see a blue swimming up to the Pacific Ocean surface for a breath of air. The creature is seen inside a marine sanctuary with nearly 200,000 wow. miles of water. And we see that and we think it's AI. That's does real. It look like it's right? a real photo. Yeah. Uh, the next one is the pink dolphin lore of the Amazon. The captivating image shows the native women of the Amazon wearing pink dolphin costumes. Their culture believes a pink dolphin is a charming man who goes to their festivals to attract women. <laughs> they become so enchanted by him that they turn into dolphins down by the river. Who knew? <laughs> down, down by, by the, the river! river. <laughs> All right, and number three on Nat Geo's list for the 2023 is a return to the moon. For the first time since 1972, the United States is going back to the moon to further space exploration ahead of the deep space missions. NASA's astronauts already training for the upcoming Artemis mission. Artemis is the name of the twin sister of the Greek god Apollo. Oh. So getting ready for it, even still, you think the advances, that, the size of what she's in right there, is it, pretty much what back in 1969 yeah. we're all about as I well, know, too. Crazy. Uh, well, Carnival Cruise Line has banned a woman for life after she tried to get on board a ship in Miami with packages of CBD gummies. 42-year-old Melinda Van Velderheisen claimed she was treated like a criminal by cruise employees and police when they found a bag of gummies laced with CBD while searching 
her backpack. The Dallas-based nurse practitioner said she packed the gummies to help her get some sleep. She was questioned by security and police for about two and a half hours. Wow. The mom was then blocked from boarding the ship. Her husband and sons didn't want to go without her. The family spent roughly $5,500 on their cruise vacation. All hemp and THC products are strictly prohibited by Carnival Cruise Lines. Rules are rule. It's unfortunate, yeah. especially because this is something that was, it, it, I even said it's for helping their yeah. sleep. And which, by the way, I, the best sleep I've ever done was on a cruise ship because of that rocking. Because of the waves. Yeah. Did it, you know that you're not allowed to wear cargo on some of these cruise lines? You're not allowed to wear like cargo. Because clothes. when some of the islands that they go to, you're forbidden to wear cargo like a the cargo print. Oh really? It's considered a police print, so you're not allowed to wear it. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? You know what we're not allowed to do normally is let Uncle Hugo have his uh, uh, a <laughs> drink. Watch it, Hugo. Are here. here because we've got a great show. We're gonna be yes. uh, staying here in the kitchen. Chef Yvonne's gonna tell us what we can uh, dial up. Get him a mimosa. Get a, you, you want like some orange juice? juice? Are you more orange juice or more or more fun? Or you just want to take it straight? Straight. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Hugo's eating it straight. We're Listen, thankful for you. We guys. got it all. We are very yes. thankful for you. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. We'll be back right after this. Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. It's Thanksgiving Day and we are in the Daily Flash kitchen cooking up some last minute side dishes for our feast. First up, we have roasted Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Mitch. Yeah, listen, you got three things. Chef yes. Yvonne joins us here that you're going to say so easy. Less than yeah. 10 minutes each? Yes, exactly. Right. So Take this is for the people that, you know, last minute, what do we do? Well, we, are, we have a vegetable, <laughs> we have something sweet, and we have your traditional uh, cranberries. So let's start with our Brussels okay. sprouts. Okay. This is my favorite way to make them. This is your special recipe too, yes, right? Yes, it is my oh, special that. recipe. Right? Um, so take your butter Brussels sprouts. You can find them already cooked or already washed. So put them in your pot. We have, you need salt, pepper, you need olive oil, and you need maple syrup for this recipe. Oh, nice, okay. Um, bacon is um, optional. Okay. And again, you can put whatever else, almonds, dried cranberries. And I would cut these in half. Yeah. They're all, you, I bought them already cut. Oh, okay, I'm, cool. I'm oh, very nice. Easy. What so, do I need to do? So just dump the olive oil in here. I already measured it. It's your about a uh, third of a cup of olive oil. Um, maple syrup, another third of a cup. Leave a little bit, because okay. we're gonna put that in our uh, finished recipe. Same and goes. then okay. salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Easy and then crazy. after you just put everything in there, you wanna just mix it up. I can do that. And then um, once all your uh, Brussels sprouts are well coated, you can stick that in the um, uh, air, fryer. air fryer for 12 minutes right. at 350. Right. It's I will do simple. that. 12, mm -hmm. Just 12 minutes? It's, it's super fast, yeah, that's, that's why I love this recipe. Now, if you want, to, um, if you want to have it like this, like in the um, in the griddle, it, um, mm -hmm. your cast iron. Cast iron. Thank Still you very much. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I cook my bacon. I remove the bacon. You chop the bacon. Then you saute your Brussels sprouts, and then you just put that in the, without the bacon. Though you put the Brussels sprouts in the oven for three, at 375 for about 20 minutes. Do you saute everything in the bacon grease? Just yeah, just about two minutes. Okay. Just enough to make it green. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Now moving on to our next recipe. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Hasselback oh, sweet potatoes. These are beautiful. So this is just a different take on your regular sweet potatoes. If you're tired of just like you know your regular potato sure. dish, you know. You can do this. So okay. the trick is to cut these very like thin. this. It's very thin. But not, I How noticed you, like they're yes. still stuck together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you can fan it out, all right? And um, the, the trick to do the, this cut is to put little chopsticks on your cutting board. So that way you're not gonna go all the way to the bottom. Okay, so oh, we can yes. show people here what you're talking about. So yes. you put like chopsticks or something like that so that you're not going all the all way, the way and, to the back. Yeah, on okay, either cool. side. All right, okay. and then you take your... Uh, and if you do, it's okay though, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So then what you wanna do is take your um, coconut oil or uh, butter, okay. your cinnamon, your nutmeg, and your maple syrup, and then you wanna put all that and you wanna, uh, with your... Um, Brush. brush. You want to brush it in, and you and you can soak them. Okay. All right. So don't be afraid. So just soak those babies in there. Because you were saying they were a little dry, and you were conservative. Yes. On my the... first. Yeah. The my. So this is our finished product. If you guys want to. Take a look at look this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. It looks not, you it know, looks it gorgeous. Looks, yeah, it does. It's like it, it's like a, a piece, a centerpiece almost. So I'm just going to kind of drown them yes, a little bit. Yes, go ahead, Jackson. drown them. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, anyway. and you can <laughs> leave a little bit because at the end you can put the rest after they're cooked and then when they're hot, okay. when they come out of the oven, you can put it in there. All right, so, speaking of the oven, how yeah, long do we get? How Let's long? just stick them in there. Um, we're doing 350, 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay. 
Then you want to take them out? Yeah, but not the microwave. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's okay. It's I think you can probably put them in the microwave, too. Yes. Wow. Well. And, um... <laughs> no self-respecting as a chef would do that. True. And so you want to take them out at some point and put a little more. And then when you're done is when you take your chopped nuts and then you just sprinkle it with chopped nuts. You've got walnuts then, here, yes, right? Yes, walnuts, but you can do pecans if okay, you want. Okay, so it doesn't matter yep. which, whatever you choose. Yvonne, yep. I would imagine this is the part where like the kids are going to be like, oh, I want to come to the kitchen, or you get them, yes. uh, put them in a bag, Ziploc bag, say, all right, I want you guys to just beat them with your yes. hands as long as you can. Yes. That'll keep them occupied. They come back and you, yes. uh, it's called slave labor. Yeah. I, yeah. And <laughs> I, I do it every year with four kids. Cranberry <laughs> is a key, and right. oftentimes we forget it. It's like a Thank last right. minute yeah. deal. So sometimes you don't even want to be the one who stuck bringing the canned uh, jelly. <laughs> but I say to you, don't worry, just just do it. And the trick here is to plate it. Okay. So um, just put some color well, in it. I have, it look nice. I have some rosemary. I have some um, slices of orange. I also oh, have God. some orange peels that I cut a little oh, fine. Nice. And you want your little um, cranberries. So go okay. ahead, have fun, just decorate this any way you want. I'm gonna throw some orange peels on. This is beautiful. And, and this is rosemary from uh, Yvonne's yeah, from your actual garden. garden. It right? is organic. I do nothing with the rosemary. You just plant a bush, and that thing just grows. Yeah. It is actually. Awesome. Do you know it's actually? Well, you said a lot about the '70s. The same. <laughs> Um, while you're doing that, I'm going to go over these uh, Brussels sprouts, which yes. I never understood until I became an adult of how delicious Brussels sprouts can be. I'm the, uh, using the leftover yeah. olive oil oh, and the maple syrup. Yep. Can I put more uh, yeah, feta cheese on this? Yep. Yeah, Ooh, please nice. put more feta cheese. Um, can we talk about the two pies at the end of the table here? Okay, yeah. Pumpkin yes. pie and sweet potato pie. I got the sweet potato pie for sweet baby James, our producer. Because yes. he's like, I hate pumpkin pie. I, I think it, you're either you love it or you hate pumpkin it's, pie. It's down the middle. I've never met yeah. anybody. No, I can eat probably both. Pumpkin pie to me is, yeah. is great. But it gets so much of that pumpkin yeah. spice that goes along. I want to mix it up with a sweet potato. Well, that looks great. This is the pumpkin pie That here. is the pumpkin pie. Yep. I, I personally prefer the sweet potato pie. I like both. But I, but if I had my choice, I'd go for sweet potato pie. Would yeah. you yeah. Right? yeah. I always take you yeah. as a pumpkin person. I have right. a trouble differentiating them. Oh, you honestly. do? Yeah, really? I think my tongue, I've just been, I don't right. know, maybe you're, burning too much. I have been eyeing these little. Brussels sprouts. So you guys want to taste them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, yeah. Try it. Let's try yes. it. I would love to hear what you guys think about these things. There's there you go. I can have your plate, Jackson. Yeah, and then we're going to put a little bit of sweet potatoes here for you. And I'm going to put a little bit of And then let's give you a little bit. It's all about sampling everything. All right, now again, keep in mind, this video is going to be on our website, so if you missed anything, don't worry. You can find it there at dailyflashshow.com. Mm -hmm. You can give me some Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Uh, yes. I'm going to try the Brussels sprouts. Yep. Or Matt Hasselbeck. We're not sure mm. exactly what you're talking about. Oh, my gosh. Mm, mm, Yvonne, you. these are delicious. Well, I'm glad you mm. like them. And again, these are recipes. If you're running out of time, you don't know what to do, they take... 10 minutes to prepare. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, or, the and less sprouts? than, and about half an hour to cook or less. Yeah. So definitely for, you know, the, the Latinos. Yeah, around Go to our right website, here. dailyflashshow.com. You'll find everything right there, including these recipes. Avon, thank mm. you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Delish. Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Andrea Jackson. It's Thursday, which means it's time to check out What's happening on your small screen with Tony Toscano? And he is coming straight out of Hollywood with what's on your screen, no matter what size you watch it on. With the latest, here's Tony. Streaming on most VOD platforms is the psychological thriller, Dark Obsession. You may not think you're ready for this. But you are. Can I help you? My husband, um, he left. In the film, an artist struggles with her inner demons after being forced into a life of solitude when her husband leaves mysteriously. I chatted with director George Henry Horton. Tell me a little bit about what you think audiences are going to take away from, uh, from this film, Dark Obsession. Well, it's tough as a director, I think, because I'm obviously, I have that sort of classic director insecurity. Um, I'm hoping they take away that it's something a little bit different. Um, there are certain parts of the movie that go a little bit off the off the chain. And I think we were trying to push push the limits a little bit with some of, some of the ideas and some of the definitely inspiration, as you can see from other movies that you mentioned. But uh, I'm hoping that they just aren't surprised. That would be in a nutshell. I hope they're surprised. 
Dark Obsession is a well-done, white-knuckle ride of a mystery thriller that will have you involved from beginning to end. Again, it's streaming on most VOD platforms and gets a B. It's not rated. Also online is the Christmas comedy crime caper, Vandits. Seems like something's gonna go wrong here. $25,000, here we come. And then we get the Lambos, then we get those Lambos. How do you even know the money's here? Of course the money's here. They keep it in the money room in the bank. Four stoners who call themselves the Vandits have the bright idea to knock over a senior citizen's bingo parlor on Christmas Eve. The film is written and directed by Stuart Stone. I hope that they're gonna smile. I hope that they're gonna laugh. I hope that they're gonna be, you know, including this in their list of sort of Christmas films, not unlike the Bad Santas and uh, Home Alones of the world that are like not your traditional, uh, you know, if we can even make a fraction of one hundredth of the money that those movies made, then we'd be set. But it's not about the money. You, you're making this movie because of the art and because you love it. And, you know, not, we're not expecting to get rich. We're expecting to get rich creatively off of a movie like this. Vandits is a low-budget, over-the-top frat house comedy that's aimed at audiences who love irreverent and drug-related humor. Again, you can catch it on most VOD services. It gets a C and is not rated. For The Daily Flash, I'm film critic Tony Toscano. Thank you there, Tony. Matt Doolittle is on assignment this week, so I'm gonna have your daily digits. These are some of the numbers you're gonna see popping up in the news. Our first digit, two. Here's a first world problem for you. What do you do when you're catching up on your dishes and the dishwasher's full and you still have more dirty dishes in the sink? Well, you could do them by hand, but that's way too much work. So the next best option is to install a second dishwasher. Now that might sound ridiculous, but apparently more and more people are actually doing this. A report asked people who have two, do, uh, two dishwashers, why? And they say that the benefits include having additional room to wash pots and pans, having a separate dishwasher for the kids stuff, and having the space to clean up after a dinner party without doing it in shifts. Also having an overflow space for uneven times, like when you have more cups than plates than one day, and maybe more plates and maybe more cups on another. And you can always have that dedicated to clean dishes while the other one could be collecting dirty ones. Your next number is six. That's how many years Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes has been wearing the same lucky underwear during the season. Mahomes showed up on ESPN's Manning cast and discussed his superstition about his underwear on game day. He admitted that he's worn the same pair of undies for every game since his rookie year in 2017. He said his wife got him for him back in 2017, and he had a pretty good season back then, so he just kept on wearing them. He insisted that they're not too nasty or worn down and that he does wash them every once in a while, at least. But if he's having a hot streak, he says, I, I'll wash them, you know. I've got to just keep it rolling. The Chiefs are currently 7-2 in the AFC West. Your next number, one billion. Fred, uh, federal authorities in New York announced the largest ever seizure of counterfeit goods consisting of handbags, shoes, and other luxury merchandise valued at over a billion dollars. Two people charged with tra trafficking the knockoffs from a New York City storage unit and other locations from January through October. Photographs released by the prosecutor showed the shelves stacked with counterfeit wallets and bags in one location and handbags hanging from hooks from floor to ceiling in another. Approximately 219,000 items were seized. Finally, and that last number is 30 Five. Andrea, you mentioned this last week, but I wanted to go into detail. YouGov did a very in-depth sur uh, survey and polled people whether or not women should be able to go topless. Their findings, 35% of Americans now think women should have the right to let it all hang out. And believe it or not, men support that notion <laughs> more than women. Where are you at on all this? Oh, surprise, surprise. Hey, if that's your thing, go for it. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. I am Mitch English. And I'm Andrea Jackson. This is the Thanksgiving doing? edition of Daily Flash. I'm putting some peppermint whipped cream. While you do that, I'll explain where we're lunch. at. Uh, because all of you at home are in your kitchen right now. So are we. We're hanging out. We're going to be hanging out all morning long. You have uh, come to... Uh, 
with great concoctions. This yes. is, explain quickly. Uh, this is an iced coffee drink. It's a great beverage. I use an espresso liqueur. You can get it at your local uh, liquor store. And then a wonderful cold brew peppermint mocha coffee. And then you top it with peppermint whipped cream, which they're selling in the stores right Very now. Very nice. Or regular whipped cream, whatever you like. It makes you one of those days where you just want to go like, yeah. bring your back and just like, what can you You put make? your comfy cozies on, you light a fire, you watch movies, uh, and you just eat and drink all day long. And then, easy. of course, we have Prosecco, too, some sparkling. Some and, and now Lovely. I've known Jackson for oh, about 20, 25 years, and she has the best part. She's the best, <laughs> best uh, party host, including um, I bet you won't jump in her pool. Remember that year? <laughs> yes, I sure do. I'm like, how much? $80. But you <laughs> you spent, what, two hours in the bathroom? <laughs> yes, I remember, that. I remember that. I, And it was real brief. I go, do, do you so have cold. any uh, uh, bl uh, blankets or anything? She no. goes, yeah, Mitch, I'll get you whatever you need. <laughs> I'm free, and it's a long story. Yeah. Uh, it is Thanksgiving, of course, yes. and what would the day look like if we didn't have any Thanksgiving Day stats oh, to talk about? Oh, boy, we have some good ones, too. Our friends at Wallet Hub have put together some tasty niblets that might surprise you. If it doesn't, well, at least you can bring it up at the table. <laughs> it'll make you sound smart in front of Aunt Gina. Aunt Gina. She uh, in, <laughs> insists her name is Gina, not yes. Gina. Did uh, you know that the average... Families spending over the five-day Thanksgiving holidays around 325 bucks. Man, you know, we have to go all organic in ours. I could oh. say that is just for the entrees. All right, the length of time the average American male will need to spend on the treadmill to burn the 4,500 calories consumed <gasps> on the average Thanksgiving meal is 10 hours. 10 so, hours. guys, we're going to have to be on the treadmill for 10 hours to work all this off. Pace yourselves, people. Uh, the estimated amount Americans spend on Thanksgiving turkeys each year with 40 million turkeys killed for the <laughs> holiday is $949 million. You think about that. That is crazy money. Right? Almost a billion dollars is, in is spent in turkeys, and that's it. For one day. But, well, these poor turkeys, <laughs> I right? Know. The amount of property loss on the other side of that caused by residential building fires oh, each gosh. Thanksgiving is $26 million. So what does that say? Be safe out there, especially if you're going to deep fry your turkey. Yeah, and finally, the share of people celebrating Thanksgiving who try to avoid having to talk politics at the dinner table, 77%. That's a lot. And, and yeah. do you have a, a, a deterrent? Like if, you know, like if somebody started going down an yes. avenue? What? Movies. I jump in with like, a, hey, have you seen the such and such? Okay. Or, okay. Yeah, or a television That's actually show. really good because mm -hmm. they're thinking, okay, there's probably something political. Yes. And, you know, but, but then no, you it, can, but you can divert. That's it's, a, it's a hard left turn right. or right turn, depending on what side of the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Speaking of whatever aisle he wants to go down, rapper Snoop Dogg, as we know, uh, if you don't, well, welcome and get out of your social <laughs> Coma, is a weed enthusiast. Uh -huh. He recently caused some fans to uh, do a double take after he posted a short statement on social media. You probably heard about it. It says, and we'll quote, after much consideration and conversation with my family, I've decided to give up smoke, he wrote. What? Please respect my privacy at this time. Now you're thinking, oh my gosh, Snoop Dogg is all about weed, right? Yes. So many people were like, wait, this doesn't sound right. Well, it was not. Mm -hmm. He's actually uh, working now with one of these pit uh, fire places. Oh, so giving up smoke. Smoke meaning. the pit. The smoke that yes. comes from pit, uh, like bonfire. The okay. little pit. Pit. I knew there had to be places. some sort of clickbait action to this. There's no way he would no. ever get away from it. I mean, that's no. his whole brand, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, think about. It. I thought he was going to go and start talking about edibles. I really thought that's where. Yeah, it I could see that, or his own line. Yeah, his exactly, own, right, for so. sure. Uh, well, listen up, Amazon fans. The giant e-tailer is getting into the car business. Amazon will start selling Hyundai cars online in the U.S. starting next year. Customers will be able to choose their model on Amazon.com, plan the purchase, schedule delivery through a local dealer. The whole shebang. Wow. The agreement between the two companies is part of a deal that was announced two years ago. Customers can configure their car, and at the end of the day, Alexa is all a part of this. Too. Good idea. Uh, hey, you know what? I think if it encourages people to buy a, something new uh, and it's convenient. I think so. I think there's so much pressure when you go to a car dealership. If you can kind of yeah. see and pick out what you want, especially custom order it, why not? Do cheers, that. my friend. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We've got more Flash coming up on this Thanksgiving. Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. Black Friday is tomorrow. Let's check in with Dr. Frank to see what's new in tech and savings. Hi there, Dr. Frank. Hey, good morning, Mitch. How are you, buddy? I am fantastic. A holiday season, you got to see it all on a big TV. You got some great ones. Tell us about those TVs. Oh, yeah. Yep, the LG OLED Evo G3 TV, Mitch. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. 
It has a spectacular picture quality and is the, it is the yardstick by which all other TVs are now measured. Southlet pixels provide deep blacks and intense rich colors and Mitch, the G3 is 70% brighter. It's wow. a one wall design, mounts perfectly, yes, and flush against the wall. And it's a super gaming TV. A reviewer from CNET said that the G3 is the highest performing TV he's ever reviewed and I totally agree. For Black Friday discounts, you can save up to 1500 bucks, Mitch. Choose a G3 stand or free wall mounting on LG.com. Very cool. Laundry day just got better. How? Oh, yeah, well, listen, you know, holidays, man, there's a lot of laundry going on. So <laughs> LG has a brand, you know that, they have a front yeah. load laundry pair. It's a smart front load washer and dryer with steam refresh, built in intelligence and Wi-Fi connectivity for on the go laundry access. And Mitch, the Energy Certified Washer uses about 20% less energy and 30% less water, according to the EPA. You can save up to 35% off of each unit. And you can save up to $700 off on the LG Styler. It's the first of its, first of its kind. It's a steam clothing care system that uses gentle power or steam with no chemicals to refresh and sanitize fabrics. It's amazing, like jackets clothing, bags, pillows, even stuffed animals. For more information, okay. detail, and go to shop all of LG's Black Friday deals, go to visit lg.com forward slash US forward slash promotion. Fantastic. You know, this change of weather means cold flu and even allergies. Do you have something that's a great remedy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, we're in crowded spaces where viral infections are there. From the common cold and flu to COVID, they're likely to spread. And so clear up is a sinus pain relief. It's by Tivic Health. It helps to relieve sinus pain, pressure, and nasal congestion. Clinically proven, Mitch, non-invasive, no chemicals here. It's drug-free and FDA approved. It's a small portable handheld device you can take with you anywhere, perfect for travel, and a cutting edge technology for sinus relief, simply guided across the cheek, nose, and under the brow. It reduces sinus pain in one five minute treatment. It's HSA and FSA eligible and has a 60-day risk-free trial. Visit TivicHealth.com and use code CYBER50 for $50 savings through November 27th. Boy, that thing is a lifesaver this time of year. And again, mention the cold weather. The winter months mean cold, cold temperatures, but you can keep us warm, right, Dr. Frank? Oh, yeah, Mitch, it's getting cold and everybody wants to keep warm, that's for sure. So Field Shear is mobile warming gear. It's the next generation of heated clothing like jackets, vests, gloves, and socks. An app syncs with garments and allows control with your mobile device. So merino wool heated socks provide warmth for up to 11 hours on a single charge and mittens, Mitch, up to eight hours. Perfect for the outdoor enthusiast or anyone who wants to stay warm and dry, even at a football game. You want to visit fieldshear.com and save 25% off the entire site now through November 28th. I love this thing because you keep the phone with you and no matter what anyway, and you can actually adjust the temperature you're saying using your iPhone through your clothes. Absolutely. Are we gonna start seeing more and more stuff like this in the future? We sure are, yes, absolutely. They're gonna, they're gonna bring a plethora of things, Mitch, because people want it, you wanna be outside, they love the elements, yeah. but they don't wanna be cold. All right, Black Friday tech and a lot of savings. You want more information? Don't worry about it, we got a website for you. It's What's New, Dr. Frank. That's DR Frank, by the way. You can also check out our website. You can get there anytime you like, dailyflashshow.com. We're back here in the Flash back room, but we'll be back in the studio coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. KSA Entertainment believes in our communities. We value those who have dedicated their lives to enrich our own. KSA Entertainment is proud to introduce our corporate initiative, KSA Cares. KSA Cares shines a light, gives a voice, and lends a helping hand through compelling awareness initiatives. From supporting veterans to environmental awareness, KSA Entertainment is proud to produce content supporting ways to help communities all across America. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Interior designer and former Queer Eye star Tom Felicia is working to raise awareness about a complex blood cancer. Here's more. Thanks for having us. Um, so uh, 10 years ago, um, my brother was diagnosed with myelofibrosis and it was, uh, we had no idea what it was. He had no idea what it was. It completely came out of left field. Um, and it was a very scary moment because it was very difficult to get any information on this rare and complex 
uh, blood cancer. I was then quickly identified as my brother's uh, bone marrow donor, and we started down that journey. Um, but it was a very scary moment, and for, for many different reasons. Um, and the reason that I have teamed up with GSK on this mapping myelofibrosis initiative is specifically because of mappingmf.com, uh, the website, which is a, an incredible resource, an educational tool. Um, it has shared stories from doctors and patients and people that are helping patients. Um, it's a really uh, strong and incredible community connection that I think is really, really important. Yeah, and this is, this is a rare disease, a rare blood cancer that affects every patient differently. Uh, it starts in the bone marrow where your blood cells are made, overproduction issue where you get scar tissue that forms from all this inflammation in the bone marrow, uh, leads to a variety of symptoms, abnormal blood counts, uh, fevers, chills, night sweats, bone pain, abdominal pain. Uh, and what's unique about this is it really affects every patient differently. And so, you know, no two patients are the same. They could have widely variant symptoms, but yet get the same diagnosis. And so uh, when you have a rare disease and variable symptoms, it becomes a real challenge to get good information. And that's what uh, this Mapping Myelofibrosis Initiative does. You go to mappingmf.com. Uh, you can find out a lot more information, really be your own best advocate as you, as you tackle this difficult disease. And you can go to Mapping Myelofibrosis on Facebook as well. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, the holiday shopping season is officially underway, and we're running down some of the best stocking stuffer ideas this year. Here's Life & Style beauty editor, Joanne Butler. She's got more. Hey there, Joanne. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, let's start with the kids. This is sure to put a smile on their faces. It puts one on mine. It's Crest Kids Advanced Color Changing Toothpaste. It's the number one dentist recommended toothpaste for kids, and it changes colors from blue to pink during two minutes of brushing. And you know, two minutes is the dentist recommended brushing time, so it's perfect. It makes it fun, encourages kids to brush up to two times longer, protects against cavities, and just helps build healthy brushing habits. Love, love, love it. Next up, something great for mommy or any beauty lover, really. This is OGX Extra Strength Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco, penetrating hair oil. It's like magic for helping smooth and moisturize dry, damaged, and coarse hair. And it's made of silk proteins and cold pressed Moroccan argan oil. Seals and nutrients and shine and helps improve strength and elasticity and just leaves your hair soft and smooth and you can use it after you wash as a primer on the ends to protect from heat styling or UV damage or after styling to tame frizz. It smells good too. It has this citrusy floral green and woody scent. You can get it right at Target, which is amazing for $7.99. Now, you know, your feet are the hardest working part of your whole body, especially this time of year with all the hustle and bustle. So these are great stocking stuffers, but also a great thing to gift yourself to right now. They're from Dr. Scholl's Revitalized Recovery insoles and achy feet foot mass. Now, the insoles are like an on-the-go foot massage, great for helping sore feet and muscle fatigue from being on your feet all day. You pop them in your shoes. They have these stimulating bubbles that basically mimic the feeling of a massage, acupuncture, and reflexology. They improve circulation, help with balance, even your posture, and help your whole body feel energized, really. They fit in any shoe. They neutralize odor as well, so win-win. And then the foot masks, amazing too. These are self-heating booties with Epsom salt, menthol, shea butter, lavender, and peppermint oils. Great for just kicking up your feet and relaxing after a long day. It's like taking a soothing bath. You can get the insoles at Amazon and the foot masks at Target. And there you have it, some stocking stuffer goodies. Happy holidays. The United States Postal Service expects to deliver about 800 million packages between now and New Year's Day. Here's our tech life expert, Jennifer Jolly, with some tips on how to use the latest tech to keep track of all of your packages. Thanks so much for having me. You know, some 50 million people in America had a package stolen over the last year. So we went straight to the experts at Amazon and said, help us get some simple and affordable tools to protect all of our deliveries this year. They said, hey, you're on the right track. As long as you have the Ring Battery Doorbell Plus. This is kind of like a high-tech watchdog that lets you keep an eye on your packages and your front porch through their app from anywhere you happen to be in the world. The app sends you a notification when someone comes to your door or when the camera sees a package just sitting there. You really can see more, even right beneath the camera now with that clear head-to-toe HD Plus video. You can even answer the doorbell with a pre-recorded message or 
use the two-way talk live as it's happening from that app. Another great tech tool here, Amazon Key in garage delivery. Fantastic way to protect everything from would-be thieves or even stormy weather. Your package is the key that opens the garage door. The driver pulls up, scans the address, and they get one-time verified access to open the door and tuck your package safely inside. No more waiting around forever for a delivery. This is exclusive to Prime members in eligible zip codes. For a whole home system, check out the Ring Alarm. These are inexpensive, easy to install, no hard wiring. You can add on professional 24-7 monitoring, no contract needed, and keep adding even more layers of protection too, like glass break sensors, freeze and flood sensors. I really love this latest Ring Stick Up Cam Pro. This lets you monitor everything in and around your house with a handy all new flexible weather resistant camera. This adds 3D motion detection using radar technology and a bird's eye view to see more of what's going on. If you can follow a simple holiday recipe, you can do this yourself and put one pretty much anywhere. For more information, go to my website, techish.com. Back to you. Thank you there, Double J. Hey, we want to take a moment this Thanksgiving and say thank you, mm -hmm. seriously, for just being a viewer. We're very grateful for everyone who actually shares their screen with us, from California to Puerto Rico and everything, everyone across the globe who watches us online. We want to let you know that we know that you have a choice, and we're very thankful that you make us part of your day. We also want to take a moment to thank our incredible crew Woo! and our staff behind the scenes. Amazing. Their spirit and creativity is what makes this show a success, mm -hmm. and we're extremely thankful for our entire team. Absolutely. Our KSA family includes Daily Flash Latino, Life Love Shopping, Flash Travel, and Flash Fitness. Melody Beatty once said, Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates vision for tomorrow. So from our family to yours, we're sending out a big thank you to all of you. We are so grateful. Keep watching and stay tuned. Ooh, I love spending the holidays watching movies. This is the best part of it, yeah, right? it is. Well, welcome back to Daily Flash. It's the true story of two brothers who make history in the early 1980s while competing in the world of professional wrestling. The brothers seek a larger-than-life immortality on the biggest stage in sports. This is today's must-watch movie, The Iron Claw. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the strongest, nothing could ever hurt us. Morning. Pants tomorrow, please, David. Perry, I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes, sir. I love that. Woo! Now, we all know Carrie's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. But the rankings can always change. What do you want in life, Kevin Von Eric? More ribs. <laughs> I want to be with my family. You know, be with my brothers. What do you like to do with your brothers? Together, we can do anything. We're here to restore justice to the wrestling federation that our father built with his own two hands. The hands that were passed down to us. The hands that will deliver the iron claw to you. So what do you think? Like we're alive. I love your family, Kevin. Don't we, Uncle? Yes, sir. Oh, man, that makes me so happy. I talked to you about something, Mom. Dad's too tough on us. You gotta say something. Baby, that's what your brothers are for. You feel that? Ah. You feel that? Ah. That's pressure. I mean, you're pushing too hard. I'm fine, Kev. Seriously, I'm just sick. Oh, I'm scared, man. It all my head of control. That's a terrible accident. I should have stopped him. I need to think about my family. Your job is to wrestle. Live up to that deal, or we are through. I told you to look out for him! I just love being out there with you guys. It's the only thing that matters to me. The Bonner will forever be the greatest family in the history of wrestling. Way to go, Zach Efron. That does what show. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Be good, everybody.